Hey, what's up guys and how y'all doing today? Well, baby, welcome to Club Shay Shay Thursday. No, all jokes aside, right? Monique is not playing. She has been leaking receipts left and right. Do you know there is audio that Monique just leaked of Tyler Perry not only admitting he blackballed her, but also apologizing? Y'all, Monique wasn't joking when she said, I might tell you a joke, but I'll never tell a lie. Listen, we have the full audio. We're going to play it for you. And then we're going to go into the receipts that the internet pulled. And I want to know what you have to say. Are you on Monique or Tyler Perry's side? A lot of people said they can see it both ways. Let me tell you my opinion on Monique. While I have said her hatred for bonnets in the airport is misplaced, when it comes to speaking truth to power, she's actually doing her thing. And for the people that literally want to call her messy, want to call the club Shay Shay uh, interview messy, absolutely not. That interview, at the end of the day, when people have power, money, and access, when's the right time to bring it up? It never is. People just want you to sit there and be quiet and let things go as they've gone. And that might be okay for some people, but it's not right for Monique. And as much as people can sit there and look down on her, oh, she just needs to be quiet. Monique is making a cute coin. Everything Monique says has come back to be true. And it did not hurt her career in the long run. Because at the end of the day, according to Monique, Tyler Perry and them wanted her working for peanuts and wanted her working for free. Baby, she's getting paid for what she does now. Now, let's get to the audio. But while we're there, can someone please DM Christian Keys and let him know that audio has leaked of Tyler Perry? So if anybody else has made me audio that might be about Tyler Perry, now the time to do it. As a matter of fact, somebody tell Christian Keys to go on there and sit in the chair of Truth from Club Shay Shay, because that's who I want to hear talk, and tell him to bring his recordings too. Anyway, y'all, let's get into this. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. Wait a minute. Hold up. We don't know this sister to be no bullshit. We know she a loud mouth. We know she is say some shit off the wall. But what we know about it is she true to a word. And all I would ask you is one que two questions. The first question is, did you not just say it was wrong? Tyler. Did you not just say it was wrong, Tyler? To say she was difficult for not doing something that she was not contractually obligated to do? Did you not say that you would feel that that was wrong? Or, or am I missing something? I, 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 I absolutely said that, yes. So the question I would say is... Is, is there a number, you know, just taking that back to them was just a huge problem, okay? And I'm going to take a couple of things a minute because I just watched your, your podcast and it, it really, it really broke my heart because number one, I feel you. I feel, I feel the sadness that, that's from you in all of this. And I don't want you to feel that, I mean, especially for me, I can't speak for anybody else, but for me, I, I'm not anyone that wants to hurt or offend anybody, especially you. I think you are brilliantly talented. I think you should have a lot more happening that you won that award. I thought for sure that if you had campaigned and won it and played by their rules, what would happen is in the next deal, you would have got more money, millions of dollars, and your career in the film would have been much different. I believe that much in your talent. So, so in, in saying all of that, in saying all of that, I just, I just say it's just, it's just heartbreaking because I don't ever want you to think that I'm not black, kind of black ball, or say anything. Else. Please give me what I say. This. I'm not trying to hurt you. I will never try to hurt you. If Monique asked Lionsgate for a favor and they told her no, and they ask, she's asking for a favor that is not contractual, not something that they're contractually obligated to do, and they told her no. But then she went and told the world how difficult that they were. Do you think that that would be fair or unfair? No, that's not fair. It's not fair. No, so, so, so the question, so pardon, pardon me. So the question I would ask of you, good sir, because I appreciate you being honest enough to answer that with a relative quickness. I really do. So the question that I would ask you is this. If we should do unto others as we would have them do unto ourselves, the question I would ask is, how do you sit back or how would you feel if someone said about you that 
you were difficult to work with because you didn't want to perform for them a function that you were not contractually able or, or obligated to do. How would you feel about that? As, well, as I said, that's not fair. If I bring a movie, if I bring a movie to, for Monique over there, I'm going to have to say that. I'm going to have to defend it. I'm going to have to fight for it. Well, it's easy. It. It's easy because all you would be doing is telling the truth. You are six foot six black man. Come okay? on. Mo you, you, you. I, ain't got, listen, I ain't got no problem, man. I ain't got no problem. Trust me when I tell you. I ain't got no problem. Well, that's why we saying then. Th then say it now. Say it now. Say it now. I'm black and I'm proud. Come on. James Brown is counting us. I'm saying it now. I'm a, I'm, I will let all of this fool off when I get back out on the press tour to promote my next thing. I know it's going to come up. That is when I will talk about it. But, 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 no, 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 it's too hot. It's too hot. Y'all heated it up. Now, to Tyler Perry's credit, Tyler Perry called us up, right? And he said, I can see the pain in you and I can hear it. And I want to let you know that I, I, I would never do nothing to hurt you. But the conversation kept going on. Only for Tyler Perry to admit he did start a rumor that I was difficult to work with. He lied. Only for Tyler Perry to admit I was wrong. And when my movie Boo come out, I'm going to say that. Right? Now, here's where... When you did that interview with Kat, I could respect how you do it. Because Kat said, you let them people lie in your face. And your response was, Kat, I don't know if they're lying or not. Right. Because I can only take them at their word. At their word. Right? Yes. Well, we sent you the audio mm -hmm. of Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to take me at my word. I want you to hear his word. And what did you hear that man saying? What did you hear that man saying? He said it. What did he say? Is that is Moni, you know you're not supposed to be recording people. N no, no. No, no. Let me back up. Okay. Everything we did was legal. And here's where a black woman really gets the kick in the ass. Had I not recorded Tyler Perry, then it would have been my word, word against, his. against his. And then on top of that, it would have been, he's so powerful, we can't even pay no attention to that. Right. Well, now I have him on audio, which is legal to do mm -hmm. where we live. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have him on audio. And do you know what some people then said? Why would you record him? <laughs> Just like you sat there and said, you know what's unlegal to do. But did you hear what the man said? I, I violated you. Yeah. I mistreated you. Yeah. Do you know, Shannon, that's cost my family tens of millions of dollars? Yeah. Over a lie and a rumor? Is he gonna, is he gonna make a, he's gonna compensate you for that? I want you to look in your camera. Yes. And I want you to talk to Tyler Perry because you heard what that man said. Mm -hmm. So ask him, will he compensate my family for that? Tyler, will you come on Club Shay Shay and let's have a conversation about the fair compensation? for what transpired between you and Monique. You can sit right here, and she's sitting right here, and you and I can have a conversation. And we'll do you one better. And give me five on that, baby. Monique, why is she canceled? And then I, I know Tyler wouldn't support that. He never told anybody, nobody not to work with her. When I talked to him, he was like, no, nah, I, I never told no one not to work with her. And I said, but you Tyler Perry, and you never told anyone to work, work with her. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, I never looked at it like that. Because I said, you, you, you just got to consider how, like, how strong your influence is at that point. Now, I'm going to go ahead and keep it a stack with you, player. This is something that I have seen consistently throughout all of my platforms. Monique needs to move on. Every interview doesn't have to be about her old problems. She has with people. Move on. Now, I watched that entire interview with Monique yesterday because I really wanted to see how she was going to be in a more controlled environment. Typically, when she does these interviews, she's not in a controlled environment and she's usually got her husband, a.k.a. daddy, sitting next to her. So I kind of wanted to see how she was going to be without him being right next to her. Now, granted, he may be in the room, but I wanted to see how she was going to be so. She made a very valid point. She and Shannon both made this valid point yesterday during that interview. 
Okay, we want Monique to move on. She's been talking about this for far too long. But Shannon Sharp admitted, reluctantly, admitted that Monique sent him the audio of Tyler Perry admitting that he lied on her and said that she was hard to work with. Thus costing her millions of dollars because she was un unable to work for 12 years within Hollywood. That rumor that was allegedly, and I'm gonna say alleged because I didn't hear the audio, started by Tyler Perry, stopped Monique's bag for damn near 12 years. No one wanted to work with her because they thought that she was hard to work with. And part of what basically drove that point home was that Monique didn't want to promote Precious for free. Now, granted, she had completed her contractual obligations and they wanted her to go promote this movie at Cannes. She refused to do so without being compensated. Again, she had already completed her contractual obligations and she was never sued for not going to promote that movie at Cannes, but that's what they had to stand on. Monique is difficult to work with. Look at what she did. She did not want to promote her Oscar winning movie, Precious. So I said all of that to lead you here. If someone had done something to you to cost you tens of millions of dollars, because this is what Monique is alleging. She couldn't work for 10 years. She said she was making anywhere from 1.5 to 3 million a year before this whole debacle went down to, with Tyler Perry. So if someone had cost you your livelihood to the point to where you had to borrow money from another fellow uh, comedian so that you could stay afloat, if someone had done that to you, would you be willing to let it go? Especially when they have admitted that they were the one that caused you and your family to damn near be destitute. Would you be willing to let it go? I'm going to go a bit further and ask you this. We always pose this question to Monique. Why won't you let this situation go? Why aren't we posing the question to Tyler Perry and Oprah? Why won't y'all fix this situation with Monique? We understand y'all billionaires, but at the end of the day, um, like Monique said yesterday, uh, Oprah turned 70 years old, said she ain't never hurt nobody. But she been having Monique out here saying for 12 years, hey, you hurt me. I need to holler at you. So why are we so quick to say to Monique, Monique, you need to get over your trauma. You need to get over something that you allege cost you your livelihood, but we're not willing to say to the person who allegedly traumatized her and allegedly cost her her livelihood, hey, you need to fix this situation. Why is that okay? I think it's very important that we look at this with a broader lens. 12 years ago, Monique was said to be problematic because of a rumor that Tyler Perry allegedly spread. They had the whole Precious movie not being uh, promoted by her as their standing point. They had that. No matter what Monique would have said to anybody in Hollywood at that time, I'm not problematic, I didn't do anything. It wouldn't have mattered. They still wasn't gonna work with her because one of the most powerful people in Hollywood said, hey, she's hard to work with. Would you shut up about that when, when, it's, when, it's, when you have it in the palm of your hands and you sent it to people and told people that he's admitting that he lied? I want to know what you think. Run it in the comments. I'm not taking up for Monique. I want y'all to think about that for a second and I want you to put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. This is Double D Mo for the Black Green. So if you haven't watched the Club Shay Shay interview with Monique, then I'm just going to tell you what the interview is about. This interview pretty much is about Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry is on the phone with Monique and her husband. And Monique's husband is confronting Tyler Perry about him allegedly putting out rumors that she was difficult to work with. The reason why he stated that she was difficult to work with is because she decided to, you know, not promote um, a movie that he was doing. He are, she already did the role and everything. He wanted Monique to go out and promote the movie. And Monique's husband was like, okay, that's cool. But how much are you talking? And Tyler Perry said, no, I'm not paying her anything to promote this. I don't pay people to do promotions. So shortly after that, Monique and her husband was like, well, then we're not doing any promotions. That's when Tyler Perry allegedly started spreading rumors about Monique being difficult to work with. So on this phone call, they are confronting him, not really confrontation, but he just wants an answer as to why he would say such things about Monique. 
And as you can see, even D.L. Hughley, he spoke out about it last night and said that Monique's husband is not Monique's husband. That's her daddy. That's her manager, but not her husband. I think the problem in this is that even on social media platforms, people are saying the same thing about Monique's husband. My personal opinion is that people are just not used to black men supporting black women, especially black women who look like Monique or black women who look like myself. If you take one look at Kevin Hart's wife and D.L. Hughley's wife and Steve Harvey's wife, those are the type of women they're used to seeing being supported. Those are the type of women that Hollywood and just in the black community are okay with supporting because they're not masculine in their eyes. They don't look masculine. People like myself and Monique who look like us, they don't want black men supporting us because in their eyes we're masculine enough and we can speak for ourselves and we should be able to hold her on our own and why do you have a man speaking on your behalf when you can you can do it yourself dl hookley was really quick to speak and disrespect monique last night he was really disrespectful but he doesn't really see her as a woman he doesn't see her as feminine she stands in her femininity because of her husband her husband makes her feel feminine they stick together and people do not like that i can't say what she said was wrong or right about dl hughley's daughter but i know this is just my yeah um points were made what y'all think let me know in the comments but i 100 percent agree with everything these ladies are saying 